All right, so now that we have email set up, let's just send a test email. And we're gonna do it using the Python shell. Now, a lot of things in Django, or well, pretty much anything in Django, you can practice on using the Python shell. Now, it's not always the most efficient way to do it because you have to write it out a lot or you have to do a lot of copying and pasting. However, it is still a very important way and a very useful way to do it. Uh, so we're gonna do practicing send mail. So if you go into models.py, this is the function that we're gonna end up using. And then this is the how we're actually gonna end up using it. So I'm going to go python manage.py shell. So if you just type out Python, it will go into a Python shell, but manage.py will add in all of the Django stuff that we need. So that's how you get into the Python shell using our Django project. Otherwise, a blank Python shell, well, it's not necessarily going to work in the way that we want it to, um, at least to test the Django specific stuff. All right, so now that we're in the shell, what we're going to do is we're going to do that import. So you can memorize it or you can just use it as a reference. So from django.core.mail, import send mail. And sendmail has a few parameters. Uh, we wrote some of them out here. There's another one that we just did not write out. It, we instead put keyword args instead. So sendmail takes a subject. So I'm just gonna say hello there as a subject. It's gonna take our message. So this is gonna be the body of the email. And as we've seen, we can render out a whole string for it, but I'm just gonna write, this is a test message not a text message, but a test message. And your from mail is gonna be whatever you set up in your settings. So if you go into settings, you're gonna use something kind of like this. You can use your default one, but whatever your actual email host user is, that's what you're gonna to wanna to use. Although it's not really gonna emulate somebody else's. There might be a way that it will, but more than likely it's not going to. So just use your actual user and then go, like in this case, I'm gonna do coding for entrepreneurs at gmail.com and then we the next part is the two and that has to be a list it has to be a list of emails otherwise it won't work even if that list only has one one email in it it still has to be a list because you can send to a full-on list of people which might be useful it might you might want it to go uh, to you and them um, but realistically you're probably only going to want it to go to them why would you have to have it sent to you as well so then we would just do uh, who we're sending it to. In this case, I'm just gonna put myself and leave it as coding for entrepreneurs and make sure that it's a nice little list here. And then comma, and then the last one is fail silently. So we can put this as true or false. So fail silently means it's not gonna raise any errors. So if we said true here, it won't raise any errors. If we say false, it will raise errors if there were errors with the sending of the mail itself. Um, I'm gonna keep fail silently as true. That's what I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna press enter here and I'm gonna let it load. It says one, that is a success. We actually did send the email. So if I check my email, I just did a quick check and it's there. So if I pop it out, let me just pop out the message. Here it is. So it says, hello there. And this is the message zero minutes ago. It's my sent mail. I used SendGrid, as you see, and it shows the message. It also has an images are not displayed. That comes from SendGrid. It does not come from the message I made. SendGrid does this to check whether or not the message is open. Um, it's a way to do that. So the message sent, let's try it again. I'll send another one. And one again, and it's, I'm gonna pop it out so you guys can see it in just a second. And there it is, zero minutes ago. And this other one is there as well. Um, now, obviously it's a little bit harder to tell because they're so similar, it's the same message. So if we change the message, we'd be able to see that. But I'll let you guys test that out on your own too. Um, so anyways, that is testing send email. Now, of course, this function right here can be used throughout your code. All you have to do is run it. And that is something we're gonna set up for our, in our model, it's gonna be something we're gonna set up for activate user email and also just a general send an email to our user. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, we will see you in the next one.